Um, up next, we have Main Stem Malt and Phil Newman. Um, have to admit, I drink a lot of beer and I've never really thought about the malt behind it. So I'm so excited to learn more. Uh, one interesting thing I learned about Phil is that um, he and Alyssa um, almost became sheep farmers and still hope to raise sheep someday. So Cole, you know, maybe y'all can talk, hook them up and um, can't wait to learn more. So Phil, please take it away. All right, thanks so much, Lisa, for the introduction. And thanks everyone for having us. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so uh, my background is in hydrology and water resources conservation, and Alyssa's background is in sustainable ag and conservation communications. And together we started MainStem as this market-based approach to conservation work powered by craft beer and spirits. Next. And so we focus on malt because it turns out that the malt house is this common broken link between local to regional agriculture and local to regional distillers and brewers. Next. And there's also this very awkward mismatch between the ethos and scale of craft beverage producers and that of their commodity uh, malt supply. Next. So we started MainStem with really a two-pronged model. Uh, one is this uh, you know, supply artisan malt to craft brewers and distillers, but then we're also this consumer facing ingredients brand where we want to um, you know, showcase progress in a previously obscured agricultural supply chain. Next. And this model has earned us um, about a million and a quarter in lifetime sales with a growing number of artisans, many industry, industry leaders in this mix. Our focus uh, geographically is on the Pacific Northwest and Alaska right now, but you can, you can imagine this being a scalable model to other geographies with success, both from a, a grain procurement and malt sales perspective. Next. From a sustainability perspective, we're the first and only B Corp certified maltster. All of our grain is coming from, um, or is salmon safe certified, dry farmed and direct seeded. It's also, all the malt we sell is traceable back to the fields and family farms of origin. And we bought around 2 million pounds of grain to date, which is allowing us to influence management decisions on about 30,000 acres of family farmland. And there's also this clear mechanism to roll uh, successes in sales into further progress and sustainability. Next. And to support our growth, we're now raising up to a million dollars on WeFunder and uh, it's open to all, but we're particularly in need of strategic angels and institutional impact investors and also folks looking to serve on an advisory committee. Next. And this is going to fund a three-pronged growth plan. Really, uh, we're solving processing and distribution at scale through partnerships. Uh, then uh, we'll be building our own capacity in the form of these regional malt hubs in key geographies uh, like Walla Walla and Anchorage, Alaska. And then we want to tie it all together with this Headwaters Marketplace that connects consumers back to family farms uh, through artisan brands that they love. Next. 30 seconds. All right, uh, here you're looking at our COO, Heather, and myself standing in front of our largest processing partner, Montana Craft Malt. Uh, we're supported by Alyssa and then three uh, sales reps, Aaron, Paul, and Eric, and they're pro brewers and distillers up and down the I-5 corridor. Next. And wrapping it up in a definition, the main stem is the longest continuous channel in a river network. But for us, it's also this important metaphor for collaboration, where we bring together seemingly disparate interests to work on innovative solutions united by the things that we all love. Thanks. Amazing. Great job. That was beautiful. I learned so many things and oh, the photos, you guys are killing me. I need to travel more.